So I was felt with Machine Gun Fellatio, there were at least three or four side shows. Was this after 2001? Was this after 2001? How did you people... Yeah, it was after 2001. Did you ever get thrown off planes? I mean, it sounded like you were... Well, I almost did because I was running very late and it was during when we were supporting Kiss and I ended up having a big night. Yeah. And um, tell us about that. Yeah, I love that, story. <laughs> that story's awesome. With Gene Simmons, you really gave oh, it. He Gene hated Simmons, you, didn't he? In no, the end, did not get on well. No. Well, I, I met his mate uh, Ron Jeremy, the porn star. Oh right, yes, you did, and, of course. Uh, I remember Ron saying, "Oh, you and G- you and G will get on just like that. He will love you." It's like, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> um, the good thing about that, it turns out, no, we didn't get get on like that at all. Wasn't there an, an amazing uh, prop that you had that was a vagina that you yes. actually yes. gave yes. to Fanny you? Warhol's uh, vagina head. So it's three layers of cardboard in pink and red. And it's beautiful. Her face pops through the slit. And yes. And uh, sort of a vagina head. Yeah. And he bangs on about pussy all the time and how much she loves it. So I thought he might like to <laughs> try the vagina head on. Cause <laughs> and he did I've done a lot of photos with... What, uh, Interesting, like Paul yeah. Stanley really liked it. All right, okay, there His you go. His signature's on it. Okay. He signed my vagina. There you go. Wow. Um, Gene Simmons tore it. Gene Simmons tore my vagina. Did <laughs> Paul oh Stanley God. sign Come it? Come here, Anton. <laughs> That's your claim to fame, is it? And also, Gene Simmons stomped on my vagina. For a while, there was wow. the, um, a um, mark of his, you know, those speed, yes. uh, space boots he yes, wears. Yes, yes. So a big space boot stomping mark on it yep. and a tear. Yep, um, okay. But, yeah, there was... The last night oh, we God, did the cat. was yes. oh, a pussy cat. And I thought that was one well. of the sound yeah. effects. Yeah. Yeah. Like, why have we got a pussy cat? Oh, well, we're well we're because we're talking about, about pussies. pussies <laughs> for God's sake, isn't it obvious? <laughs> now, uh, <laughs> anyway, I stole his pussy lineup. There were some girls that were lined up to party with him afterwards. So what I ended this? up partying with him. He'd booked a room for them in his fancy hotel. Well, a fancy Now, room. he reckons I saw him on, uh, there was, I don't know how I ended up, Watching one of those, you know how he's doing. Was it his family? He was there was a reality family show about him. Or yeah, yeah, that's right. I never saw. And I saw he, the ads. And he's well. I, I I don't know where I was. I wasn't here because I didn't have. It was on cable, and he, I ended up seeing watching a bit of the show. And he and he reckoned that he never cheated on his wife. And I was I like, Are you serious? Yeah. yeah. No, because I remember. I fake remember news. You, fake news. Fake news. Fake news. <laughs> So I remember you telling me Just that flat they out they'd lined up all these girls for well, him there was to a couple take his this pic- particular night mm-hmm. and um yeah, I ended up partying with them and I knew who was paying the room bill, so I was just ordering bottle after bottle after bottle of um champagne yeah. and yeah, we had a fun night and um yeah, we turned he turned up at one point and he was very disappointed I was there and a bit pissed off and Yeah, right. Um, so yeah, I really got to annoy him. It felt yeah. really good. And partied on with the girls, drinking loads of champagne that he was paying the bill for, and he hated my guts. So and that was good. Like, and, and you saved those then girls from trauma. I almost missed the flight. I got to the flight, but I was only wearing a dressing gown from the hotel, and they gave me slippers to wear on the plane. Because you had no shoes. I had nothing on. I just had a ground on. Why? Where's, where were your clothes? Well, I, I guess I got gig pig, a tour manager. We must have spoken on the oh. phone. So I grabbed my stuff. I'm at the airport. I'm running oh, really, really right, late. Oh, right. Okay, I see. And... Um, yeah, apparently I collapsed in the seat and the dressing gown flew over. <laughs> okay. And, uh, and there was Stuart more pussy there. Right, okay, me, yeah, yeah, she I managed did. to get that fight. There was another one they almost didn't let me on because I was really drunk. And they said, have you been drinking? I, said, I just want to get on the plane. I'm not going to fly it. <laughs> <laughs> and I think they were like, you know what, she's just going to pass out. We don't yeah, want to deal just, with it. Yeah, she'll be quiet, yeah. I snoozed the whole way home. That wow. is brilliant. I'm not yeah. driving the bloody thing. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> I'm just going to sleep on it. Yeah, yeah. I'm now, set ready for sleep. I'll be the quietest passenger, maybe a snore or two. Now, Robin Jeremy, uh, Jeremy actually took a big shining to you and I believe flew out here. <laughs> a shining? To uh, 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 love you, to, uh, you know, romance you. Is that no, true? No, he didn't fly out to romance. But he he didn't? came out. Um, it's one of those apocrypha stories. Met him one night because Glenn and I interviewed him for some magazine. We went to this Japanese restaurant and... Yeah. He had his girlfriend in tow that time who was a veterinary surgeon. Really? She probably needed to be. And I was living in King's Cross at the time, and he was staying in a hotel in King's Cross at the time of a Japanese restaurant in King's Cross. When King's Cross was still a bit like King's Cross. Yes. Before this, before this, before this. Yeah. Different stages of the... Now it's just tumbleweeds and a few seagulls. Yeah. Wow. And... But I was living in King's Cross. He came around to my place and I had a church, a little, one of those electric church organs, 60s, 70s church yes. organs, and he played um, The Adams Family on my church organ. Uh-huh. Wow. So he can play piano. <laughs> <laughs> he can play Vic Mizzy's. Well, With his penis. TV, he, With so. his penis. All <laughs> oh, right, okay. 
And then he came out again to do Sexpo, so we called up. Ah, yes, that's Sexpo. right. Yeah. He was a he was a yeah a frequent uh, of Sexpo. Yes. So we called up then, and then when we went to LA, he introduced the band at the Viper Room. Um, and then he wanted to take me out one night because we were only in L.A. for a few days. And he's like, so what do you feel like doing? He's like, I don't know. What's a good L.A. thing to do? Because I, I didn't really do L.A. research. I love mm-hmm. New York. I've been to New York. Yeah. And I thought I'd hate L.A. I'd be a boy. It was a oh, hoot. L.A. is um, awesome. His first offer for a date was, uh, well, how about how about we go to the Holocaust Museum? <laughs> That's a date. <laughs> yeah, With wow. Rod Jeremy. Wow. <laughs> and in hindsight, he's, he's Jewish, isn't he? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Got and um, in hindsight, I kind of wish I did because I thought, what a bizarre that date. Yeah, a porn it would have been. Yeah. In a Holocaust museum in the LA, porn star. But mm. I really didn't feel like going to a Holocaust museum. If you know what I mean? Yeah. I kind of felt more like a, something a bit more upbeat. So there were strippers in LA who were striking at the moment because they put in some <laughs> new rules that if you did a lap dance, you had to be at least social distancing apart. This is well before COVID nineteen. Right. Wow. And they said, well, what's the point of a lap well, dance? How is that a lap dance? dance? It's not a lap it's dance. Not. It's no. Across the room with binoculars yeah. dance. Yeah. So they were on strike and there was a big party at um, Hustler Magazine headquarters where yeah. I met a lot of naked People. strippers and porn stars. Yeah. And it was Ron's date. And it was like, now this is the kind of LA experience I wanted. Yeah. Yeah, a stripper strike at Hustler Magazine with a porn star <laughs> rather than the Holocaust Museum. Cool yeah, old fashion. Sure. But I kind yeah. of was in yeah. more of a party mode. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. But now, in, in retrospect, that Holocaust <laughs> yeah. Museum would have been know, one for the diary. For yeah. the diary. <laughs> yeah. I mean, well, who astounding. knows? Maybe when things get loose and if I ever get back to LA, I'll call him off and go, now about that Holocaust yes, Museum let's date, do I'm it. ready. Yeah. Machine Gun Fellatio always delivered uh, packed entertainment and f- incredible shows, remarkable music and great spectacular. <laughs> I can remember once looking up at the stage and you just went cartwheeling past naked. Yes. Was that Machine Gun or was that something else? Oh, that was me and Machine Gun. That was oh, just right. part, of the, part okay. of the experience. So you can be setting Sometimes. up a mic and any moment you'd look up and go, it's Krista, but it's the other end. <laughs> A cartwheeling Krista. <laughs> and I For believe a moment there. Vagina head, vagina head, vagina. <laughs> but it. there was one moment with a golf cart, I remember. Do you dare to talk about that or oh, not? Oh, that was in Alice Springs. So we Can you tell us a, a little bit about yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, we went and had a game of golf, um, as you do. Um, which, And I wasn't a really good golf player. So I think we'd had some... Th- there was always a lot of um, hallucinogenics all right. With us, so we had yeah. to, especially when you're golfing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just something you throw down. So yeah. my golfing outfit that day was these platform shoes, um, these nice little trousers, this green sort of sequin butterfly top, a wig. I was all dressed up for it. And I thought, look, I'll just be the buggy driver. Okay. Uh, yeah. 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 Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Great buggy driver. Oh yeah, I had a six pack of beer on my hallucinated. <laughs> you were <laughs> ready to go. Ready to driving. drive. Oh, Tour guide. I was so ready to drive to the <laughs> point yeah. where we went to return the golf cart. And this whole hotel and it has these big glass doors that slowly open i'm fanging it and the gl- doors slowly like oh, no. just in time in the foyer kind of do it, and they're like we'll take those keys from you now thank you very much madam but yeah got to wow. drive it through the glass doors of a hotel wow. through the doors though not actually smashing not, not, them but it was yeah. a little bit it was close oh it was close yeah and it would have been some bad scarring oh yeah 